This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, April 24, 2012. Weekend steam events at the Fukushima plant may bring elevated radiation levels to the west coast on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of this week. We will be watching this closely. In Canada, Northeast Canada will experience the nor'easter event that left late April snow in the states. Temps will remain low and a rain-snow mix is still possible for Windsor through Quebec and in Halifax. On the other side of Canada, Vancouver temps mean the system moving onshore will bring rain and possibly thunderstorms per Environment Canada. Both these systems in the east and west have strong tropospheric convection where there is a high potential for radioactive fallout. In the U.S., the big weather story of the past three days was record rainfall in New York and Pennsylvania and snow as well. Light scattered rain and snow is still possible for the next 12 hours as this system moves into Canada. The new system out west may bring thunderstorms as far south as Southern California and as far north as the U.S. Canadian border as well as Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado moving into the center of the country over the next 24 to 36 hours. Both of these systems have strong tropospheric convection and all precipitation should be avoided. In Europe, current radar and surface maps from Meteo France show a large low pressure system moving into northern Spain, France, the Netherlands, and Belgium, Ireland, and the UK. Surface winds in the North Sea will be brought back to the northern UK with possible methane releases from the ongoing total well problem. This system will be making its way across Europe over the next day or so, developing into thunderstorms as it moves east. As precipitation appears to be a widespread event for Europe, all of it should be treated as hazardous. Nuke Report Limerick, Pennsylvania is still in hot shutdown. Harris, North Carolina is also in hot shutdown when main steam isolation valves failed to close. San Onofre, California is still in cold indefinite shutdown but also had reports of a fire over the weekend from a panel in the turbine room. And Diablo Canyon, California is currently operating at reduced power as staff is troubleshooting a failed power transfer. More information about these events can be found at the NRC notification page. There are 10,000 parts in a nuclear reactor, with plants in the U.S. averaging 25 to 30 years of age and older. If you have concerns about a nuke plant near you, please call the NRC hotline at 800-695-7403. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.